Alright, in this video we're going to have a look at editing this title block here. Unfortunately Revit comes with a pretty ugly looking title block so it's good to sort of fix that one up especially if you're presenting stuff. So um, what we're going to do is actually click on this and say edit family. So the title block that's loaded in this project is, is a type of family and it's editable as, as, as are most of the families. Um, in Revit. So we, we've now entered the family editor and you can see that we have a few of the similar um, tabs up the top, not as many, and we also have this load into project. So once we've finished our edits on this family, we'll then load it back into the project so we can use it. So what I usually do with this is, well I might hold on to the items that I want to keep. Now project names, good, the name of the sheet is good. Uh, down here you can see we've got date, project number, drawn by. Oh no, we'll get rid of them. We'll keep the scale. That date's good to stay there. Um, this is drawing number, so we'll take that as well. And pretty much everything else we can delete. So I'm just going to use my pick box over all this. Just make sure I'm on everything I want to delete and just hit delete and get rid of that schedule as well. Okay, so now we've pretty much got a blank A3 template. Got a few of these labels. Now remember it uses labels on sheets and labels are sort of quite intuitive. You can change, um, you know, the text and the size of them and stuff. It, it's quite complicated, but... Um, so we've got our project name, our sheet name, sheet number, and the scale over here. So if you have a look, um, as we click on each of these labels, in the properties here, we can actually change the size of these labels. And what that's doing is it's, it's making them larger and smaller. Um, so you can go through and just have a play around and sort of come up. I mean, if you've got some spare time, it might be nice to come up with a title block that that um, you know you can use throughout your time at uni, or you know, look on the internet, see if you can sort of download one or share share one from somewhere. I'll usually just make one really nice and simple, um, and then if you want, you can add some lines in as well. You know, just to sort of neaten it up. So let's say that's the title block that, that we've done done differently. And now what we're going to do is load that back into the project. And it's whenever you edit a family, try to load it into the project. It asks you here if you want to overwrite the version that already exists. So we're going to say yes for this purpose. Now you can see that it's actually changed my sheet here. Now every time I load a new sheet, this is what it's going to look like. So project name, I haven't specified that, so we'll just say this is a test project, which is fine. So, I mean, if you click on the sheet, you can either double click and enter it there or over in the, sh the, the sheet properties. Is it here? Can we enter it there? No. And then gives us a name plan or we can change the sheet name over here we can call it various views so there are multiple ways in Revit to change anything there's your properties or you can do it actually over here this is the name of the sheet number and then scale it says here as indicated and that's because I've got more than one scale on on the sheet so if I actually deleted that it would say 1 is to 100 so it would give me the same scale as the drawing that's that's on there. Yeah, so that's title blocks. I mean, when you edit the family as well, you can also you know drop in a little JPEG logo if you've got that. But um, invariably, I'd, I'd just try and keep it simple. Um, also, with your titles for your drawings, the properties for them, you have an option to actually have no title or um, a title without the line, like that or the title with the line. So you can edit them um, as well. So that's editing title blocks. As I said, relatively simple. 
just edit the family make your changes in here so you can also you know put these wherever you want on the sheet if you wanted a vertical sheet as well but you know okay and then just make sure you load it into the project and you overwrite that existing version so yeah as you can see there it's it's moved my titles okay so just play around with that and see what you can come up with